Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. My name is D, and today I'm checking out a short but very fun demo called Hiyoshi Jump. This demo was developed by uh, a Japanese developer named Makoto Ito, who works for Unity uh, Japan. So Unity is the software that's used to create a lot of Oculus Rift demos. They work for the Japanese branch of that company. And uh, they created this demo in which you, uh, you have all around you 360 video of a particular area of the campus of Keio University. And then you hit a button and you jump up in the air super fast, like you're, uh, like you're in Dragon Ball Z or something. And you can look all around you when you're up in the air that you fall back down and you hit the ground. And, you, and then you can do that as many times as you want. So it's not, it's not a full game or any, by any sense of the imagination, but it is a very fun thing to try and it's a very good early example of what you can do with 360 video beyond just looking around um so a little bit more about this location this is uh Keio university is uh, has 11 campuses there uh all that most of their campuses are located either in tokyo which is the largest city in japan or in yokohama which is the second largest city in japan uh, and Hiyoshi is an area or region of yokohama where one of their campuses is located uh, this was taken on their campus near uh, their um, running track, which you'll be able to see uh, when you're jumping. So without further ado, let's get in there and do some superhero jumping. All right, here we are in Hiyoshi Jump. We are super low down to the ground. I feel like I'm about a foot off the ground here. And there are probably the developers of it standing all around me. If I look up above my head, I can see their flying machine, or at least a distorted version of it. So this game was created using uh, six GoPros attached to some kind of flying construction, probably a quadcopter or something like that. And uh, there are two ways you can jump. The first way is you can press the space bar. I'm going to go ahead and do that. N jump! Whoa! 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 Oh my god. Ah! Holy shit, I've never tried this demo before. That is awesome. That is so cool. I really felt like I was leaping hundreds of feet in the air. And just being able to look down, I had the sense of vertigo, and then I was rushing towards the ground, and like, I thought I would die, but I totally didn't. This is super, super cool. Um, the other way you can jump, so I'm not standing up right now, but if you were standing, you can actually jump. Oh, come on. Jump! by pushing your head up, and it will sense your acceleration using the accelerometers in the rift itself. So there, um, there is actually video and sound in this. The sound is just kind of a sound of uh, when you jump, your feet, uh, it makes the sound of your feet pushing off, and when you land again, your feet hitting the ground. And, um, and it makes a wind sound that changes as you move through the air. And there's, a, a looping animation that's going the whole time. If you watch this guy for long enough, you'll notice that he is actually doing the same thing over and over again. The same is true of the people running on the field, which you can only see when you're jumping. So I'm going to jump one more time, take a look at them. So you can see they're actually moving in fast motion, and then they go back. And that's because of how they took the video. Um, I believe that they took a photo at each location, at each altitude, and then they stitched, they, they put them together into an animation but that means that as you jump, you see them go forward. And as you slow down, they slow down. As you drop, they go back and they speed up like that. So it seems like they took photos at evenly spaced altitudes. And then they, they put them together into this animation. You can actually see the shadow of the uh, flying machine right there. Yeah, it looks like a quadcopter. You can see four propellers. And here's uh, the, the KO University, one of their campus buildings. You can see more of KO University's buildings over there. If you actually check out the description, I provide a link to this exact location in the world on Google Maps so that you can see what all these buildings are if you're curious. And I'm going to look down this time. Ooh, there's some Japanese writing on there. I don't know what that says. And jump! Whoa! Oh, it's so cool how the ground just recedes from you. Then it's like, oh god, boom! And you ram right into it. I've got to look up this time. Going up, going up. Can't really see what's going on when you're looking up. And down I go. 
the speed at which you come down, you really feel like if you were actually falling at that speed, you would be very uh, injured. You, 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 you definitely feel threatened. And it's really cool just how much of the city you can see. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm wishing now that, like, they said that they created this as a concept for what a live-action uh, video game might be like. And I, I can really imagine, like, if they extended this, imagine being able to say, like, like, there was some villain, like, running off that way. And he, like, jumped onto that rooftop. And to follow him, I have to, like, jump over there and jump onto the rooftop and jump from building to building to chase after him. And then I could use, like, Hirokens to shoot fireballs at him. And, and that, that would be super cool. And I don't know how it would be extended beyond this basic concept, since right now they do have to take photos at, or 360 photos with those six GoPro cameras at every location. But maybe, I mean, maybe they would just do the brute force thing and take 360 photos at way more locations. Maybe it would be kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure where it's like you could choose to jump that way or that way or that way and you kind of just pick it and it does the jump for you. That way they wouldn't have to have camera at every possible location. Now, I am pretty sure that this is actually a monoscopic demo. Yeah, if I close, if I close one eye at a time, like the shadow behind that guy's head, if this were stereoscopic, you would have different views of the shadow out of each eye. Um, but you don't. So this is, um, you're seeing the same image in each eye. There's no stereoscopic depth. There is still very much a sense of depth, especially when you're jumping. Because when you're jumping, you get that, um, that parallax effect as you move past things. And that gives you a very clear sense of how far away things are. So, um, but there's, there's also other clues of depth here. So I'm, as I like to say, stereoscopy is a nice to have feature, but it's not super cri critical. It's not the most important thing the Rift does. And in 360 video, it's really hard to do stereoscopy. So sometimes just having a, a really well done monoscopic experience like this is, is actually, actually preferential. It's cool how I can like see those, those stairs come into view and that, like if I look at the building right here, it's like I can see that window up there, but I can't see what is it part of if I'm down here on the ground. But as I go up, I can see that's part of this larger structure and I can see how it connects to the rest of the building. So it's like I'm, I'm getting a clearer view of the architecture and I can see an overview of the whole track and how the people are moving on it. And then when I'm down on the ground, I can see it like from the ground eye view. And so you get all these different perspectives on this place and it helps you get a more complete impression of what it's like. And I can imagine this just being a way to investigate and explore places. Um, even if you're not like playing a game, just like what if you could be next to the Empire State Building on the streets of New York and you're standing among the crowd and then you just leap up and suddenly you're face to face with the people on the very top of the building who are looking down at the city. And how cool would that be? All right, so I think I've said about all there is to say about this demo, um, but definitely check it out. It's a very cool demo, um, very simple, only takes a few minutes to try, and you get a really strong impression of just this huge acceleration up into the air and this rushing towards the ground. And I can imagine just all the ways that this could be developed into, into both, into both uh, practical as well as entertainment applications. So um, definitely check it out. And that's all for today. Everybody have a great every day.